Hello guys and welcome to the video. So here we are with the new C-Class and this is the C300 AMG line. So this is the only engine variant in the US and in other markets in the world. So here is the best engine variant because we have uh, 180 which is also petrol, 200 which is also petrol. So both of these 180 and 200 is 1.5 liter. And then is this one, the C300, 2.0 liter petrol engine. So basically this is the most powerful C-Class here in Europe. But in some markets this is the base model. We have also diesel models C200D, C220D, C300D. And also we have formatic versions of many of these engine variants. Also of the C300 there is a formatic version. This one is a real drive. So looking from the front you can see that the AMG line is a really sporty looking car here in AMG line version because it looks the most AMG out of all AMG lines ever made. So you can see that the main difference is I drove the avant-garde line in Germany at the media launch and you can see that the grille for this car has this new MB stars integrated in the grille as you can see here so you can see the bumper has this A shape which is very similar to what have uh, the AMG models so it looks really really sporty the, the AMG line all right guys so let's open the hood so here is the most powerful engine variant for the C-Class at the moment and this is 2.0 liter M 254 engine and it is paired with ISG integrated starter generator so the whole system is on 48 volts so this is a mild hybrid so you don't plug it in the wall this particular version so with this 2.0 liter M254 engine we have 258 horsepower plus additional 20 horsepower from the ISG which is located between the engine and transmission. The transmission for all C-Class variants is 9G-tronic, so 9 gears, and also additional torque from the ISG is 200 newton meters. Also there is an overboost function, so for 30 seconds you have additional 26 kilowatts, that's 35 horsepower, uh, which you can use for acceleration. So the acceleration from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour is 6 seconds. Top speed is electronically limited to 250 kilometers per hour or 155 miles per hour. Also this comes as a formatic all-wheel drive system and also as a plug-in hybrid it will come later uh, this fall. So I will try to test the plug-in hybrid when it will be available as well and basically how it works it has a new range for 100 kilometers for so you can drive daily on electric and then if you need to, need to go further you can use the petrol oil or diesel engine because the plug-in hybrid will be also uh, offered as a diesel and also as a petrol so lots of uh, engine variants for the new c-class you can see here some heat shields also in the rear also here on the top and this part is for sound isolation from the engine so the engine has a, a mild hybrid startup so it just turns on and the bonnet the hood is on two catches here so it, it's more secure here for the c-class very sporty front of this car also we have new lights so this is the new design for the lights and here we can see digital light and the design here is you have one LED stripe and then you have one dot so two dots have, has E class and three dots has the S class and C class has one dot so that's the like differentiation between these models at least from the front so in terms of the driving with this car I have to say that this feels really close to the E class this car is really stable at all speeds basically and it, it's uh, much more quiet than compact level cars. So really, really amazing. Uh, basically I would say that uh, 
apart from the Airmatic, which is here only in for the plug-in hybrids, you can have a very similar experience to the E-Class because the E-Class offers Airmatic for uh, all its lineup, but here the C-Class uh, offers Airmatic for the plug-in hybrids. But you can also get the adjustable suspension, which is also really good. This car doesn't have it, so it has standard AMG lowered suspension because it's lower than the avant-garde line. So I have to say that uh, the suspension adjustable is also very good, but Airmatic obviously is even better. But it's not... Uh, it's different which you would feel, but it's not a huge difference. So I would say you, you should be fine with adjustable suspension, even here, without it. Uh, for me personally, it's not something I would uh, like 100% need, but it's nice to have. What we are looking here is uh, the same platform MRA2, which has the C class and S class, and uh, really close to the E class with driving uh, impressions, I have to say. And also, this car has 19 inch wheels, so we can check them out. So, these are multi spoke. Uh, AMG line wheels with the black like insert so inside of them is high gloss black and these are Pirelli P0 tires uh, 225 40 R19 and 93Y is the load and speed index also as you can see here Pirelli P0 also these are Mercedes original tires and very important here we have PNCS and you have this icon here so basically this is purely noise cancellation system so with this one you have foam here so this is uh, not sure exactly how thick but uh, on the pictures it looks quite thick so here with the Pirelli noise cancellation system on the inside on the top part of the tire the closest to the ground you have the foam so in the tire is foam and this foam absorbs uh, tire noise from the road so road noise uh, this also has the S class and uh, also the Maybach version, now also the C-Class. So this is really, really great. You can also buy it for any car if you, if this kind of tire is made for your tire size for your car and you will have a quieter ride because a lot of noise in the cabin is from the tires. So this helps a lot. And uh, seeing that it is in the, like from the factory, you don't have to buy it. Additionally, it's really amazing. So really impressed uh, and happy that it also has because I saw it on the S-Class Maybach and uh, I'm really happy that it's also here so yeah the decal here with the stars you can see it looks really sharp this is for the local like uh, presentation of the C-Class and the new C-Class looks really uh, sportive because the cabin whole cabin is not much but it's a little bit backwards from the front wheels uh, in between the in the wheelbase the cabin is towards the back it's like a little bit uh, towards the back also this helps uh, obviously if you crash you have uh, more space uh, to deform the car the front of the car and that the crash will be less uh, intrusive on their bodies basically so you can see you have a long bonnet longer than before and it's more towards the back so also the wheelbase is longer than the previous uh, generation of the C-Class therefore the rear passengers now have more uh, legroom we will check that out in the interior uh, but yeah the rear legroom is improved and you have also a lot of space on the inside uh, because the because the car itself is shaped in a different way in the interior which I will show you also in the interior also you can see here we have beige interior on the ceiling I would get that in the black. Uh, I like that more personally. This one is more like a luxury, the, the, the beige ceiling. I would get that in, a, in black, definitely. Also, we have panoramatic roof. Also, the roof is, has two sections. So here is like pillar 
and you have this glass here and also this one is larger for the front and at the rear we can see also really nice silhouette so here for the AMG line we can also get the AMG lip uh, on the fifth door so it would look more like AMG I would order that definitely it's like it's like a, a little lip it's not huge on my on the white car which I filmed not sure which video will go first but it's there I can show you that it looks yeah it looks really good it costs like uh, around 500 euros here in the Europe uh, AMG line has different exhaust tips these tips are in chrome even though we have the night package so that's also different because with the compact cars like A-Class if you have a night package for the window trim then you have also black uh, exhaust tips with the diffuser we have four fins it looks really good these four fins here and overall the car looks really great we have new tail lamps tail lights and they have this LED stripe which has these like uh, bars and uh, yeah, it's close obviously to the S-Class this is nothing new for the Mercedes-Benz uh, always it was a case that the C-Class and S-Class uh, they looked very similar so it was uh, always it's nothing new some people think it's new strategy but if you look at old models like 30 years uh, ago it's the same it was really close uh, in the design so it's the same recipe as as in as before it's, it's basically small s-class design wise but i can tell you the s-class feels completely different to the c-class because it's a large car and you have a lot more mass and everything is just more soft uh, more comfortable more quiet and very very significantly so also new for the c-class is active rear steering so the rear axle turns 2.5 degrees in this car we don't have this feature but it's possible to order and uh, driving this is very agile so the rear axle would even help uh, with it so the rear axle at lower speeds turns in opposite direction as the front wheels and at higher speeds it turns in the same direction so it's not it's a little bit uh, it's few degrees but essentially you will get more stable car also the parking would be easier uh, if you have the rear axle steering if you bike park in like tight spaces if you have a lot of space then it wouldn't be as uh, huge of a difference so overall I'm a really big fan of this car and uh, driving it my impression is that it's much more comfortable than uh, my A-Class which I drive for I have second A-Class now and I drive the A-Class uh, two vehicles for three years so I can tell you I, I know them uh, like very well so I can tell you that the C-Class is much more comfortable much more quiet and everything is uh, much more compliant uh, so really it's a much better choice for uh, traveling at long distance the new C-Class than the compact vehicle so sometimes if you get more powerful A-Class or CLA you can get uh, a less powerful C-Class or you can get the same power but you will pay a little bit more uh, depends on the country where you purchase engine variant etc etc but these models are I would say close to each other maybe difference is 10 15 maximum I would say 20 percent uh, also depends yeah that depends on the finance etc but they are close so sometimes I would highly suggest if you thinking about the get the a class or CLA which is like more powerful etc then also consider uh, the new C class because it's uh, very close and it's much better for a longer distance driving if you want smaller car which is also really good than a class or the CLA will be a better option so here we have the real wheel drive platform the compacts are for the front only and this one is the same as e-class and s-class the real wheel drive based mercedes so really looks doesn't look like huge on the video but in person looks much larger also it grew in size 
in each like dimension it's wider longer as it's always the case with the cars uh, let me know what do you think about the design of the c-class i think it's really gorgeous and talking about the c-class the paint here is spectral blue so this is new paint for mercedes-benz and mercedes-amg you can see here it's like i would say younger brother of the brilliant blue because it's uh, not as dark as brilliant blue but to me it's equally interesting as a brilliant blue also in like darker sections where you look at the car here is the light from the sun and here is like a little bit darker shade it looks closer to the brilliant blue it's very very nice color actually also you can get this for gt4 door as a magno so matte paint but that's completely different price point uh, than the c-class but just let you know uh, about the color new color for mercedes-benz let me know how do you like this also we have new opalite white which i filmed and the video off that one is also gorgeous so i would be definitely considering this paint if i would get the c-class because it's just stunning also for the amg line c-class what is new is are these power domes on the front hood so the car looks much more amg like much more sporty with these power domes overall look of this car is just much more sporty and gorgeous so here you can see the front bumper you can see how massive and aggressive it is very very sporty looking like and also the side front view and this is the new grill with these ambi stars before it has like diamond pin grill uh, on the amg line vehicles so now we have these mercedes-benz stars also here for mercedes-benz badge this one is like 3d it has these the star is more it's like 3d and this means we don't have the distronic system with distronic you have like really flash and uh, this star is not 3d with distronic and behind that star there is a radar then for the active cruise control the distronic and distronic plus so this car can drive itself basically something like autopilot level 2 autonomy driving you still need to hold the steering wheel and but it the, the car can hold the lane uh, and also turn to the certain angle and also it keep distance with car in front of you and stuff like that so system is from the s class so it's really good works really amazing the night package here includes the mirrors and window trim as i showed you the exhaust is chrome and also here at the front these high gloss black parts and the lower lip it's also in high gloss black those part of the night package so overall looks really gorgeous really sportive and sportive elegance we can say basically really great also in the digital light you have these blue elements here really stunning looking uh, vehicle or i guess now let's check the interior here so look at this gorgeous interior all new interior for the c-class all new seats everything is new so let's hop inside can you hear it's super super quiet the engine startup or i guess so here in the cockpit of the new c-class you can see that this car looks completely different to the previous generation of the c-class and now it is more looking like like the s-class so you can see here this new setup of the screens so here we have the instrument dashboard driver screen and here we have the central screen also the whole dash is turned six degrees towards the me as a driver also the display and the dash is longer on that side compared to this side so it's more turned 
on the driver so it's driver focused interior and you can see here we have also the new steering wheel this is for the AMG line the new super sport steering wheel which has uh, thicker sides here at 3 and 9 o'clock overall it's a little bit thicker than the previous one and the Mercedes-Benz star is now the largest which you could found in the previous models also we have these two lines at the middle and two horizontal parts so with this part with this control you control the driver screen and with this one you control the middle screen also we have here settings for the cruise control here in this car we have manual cruise control you can also get the distoring as i was showing you from the outside and looking at this car and this interior uh, at first it might seem as a shock but then i would say quickly we'll get used to this new interior also the air vents are completely new you can see here they have this nice clicking sound and they are also illuminated so you can turn them uh, as you wish a really satisfying clicking sound and also design here for the air vents you can see they have this it's similar actually to the exhaust uh, on the AMG cars this 3D shape you can close it half close it so you can get a very nice customization with this also you can see the speaker for Burmester there and controls for the seats you can lock the car unlock it here you have seat heating seat ventilation fully fully electric seats controls from the s-class these are like capacitive buttons and uh, so they are not moving you just press and the seat is, is moving uh, seat heating on three levels and three memory setups for the seats also Burmester speaker is here the new design this is 3d Burmester surround sound system so the best Burmester which you can get for the C-Class and also this part for where are buttons for the windows but the design of it is like floating so it looks really great also have ambient light stripe here and uh, the doors are in a way that you can put there the one large uh, bottle so actually here in the doors you can put this large 1.5 liter water bottle and it's not messing if I see it here as if I turn on the position one I will go closer and I'm not touching it with my also the steering wheel goes further towards me so I'm not touching here as you can see the water bottle at all because it's at the ideal spot so here for me I'm touching with the left knee here on the door but not uh, on the bottle so we have really this is a uh, new this curved space uh, on the c-class so very nice also you can open the boot here with this button and you have some additional space here in the in the doors additional door pocket which is pretty pretty spacious you can put also many stuff here so really great practicality with the c-class also the door cards you can see here here we have uh, the article leather which is man-made leather but uh, it looks really good and it has a great quality in my opinion for man-made leather also stitching here so really really nice also this panel here so if i close the door the sound is really great just listen so you have very premium sound when you close the doors amazing really really great also ambient light is here uh, at this panel in the doors so overall really great this is like a door handle as well so it has a uh, serves to purpose the door goes continuously here to this panel so it has this like a really nice shape so the display here for the driver is 12.3 inch screen and this one is 11.9 inch but it's vertical as you can see here and this dash 
has this uh, this is new this design like a metallic effect so the display here with central panel is connected with this line where you have a uh, controls for dynamic so you can have sport plus mode individual all these driving modes sport comfort and eco and you have a uh, parking for 360 parking camera and automatic parking as you can see here you can move the car on the video here on the display also you can choose different cameras like the front image then you have a rear camera from the side you have auto and this is for the activation position so if you go again here the camera will will turn on automatically so you don't need to even press the button and parking assistance is essentially parking pilot where you can drive and search and out park automatically then you have the button for the car which gives you these favorite sections hazard lights this is for the fingerprint so you can save your settings with your fingerprint like we know it from the smartphones you can turn it off if you don't want to see anything but still you have uh, the panel for the AC you can mute the volume and this is for the level of the volume so this panel is always on because uh, this is for the AC and you can see here you can change the how much you want the fan to work or you can leave it on auto also you can vary the auto with the level of the auto on the fan and here you can change the temperature also here you can turn off the circulation from the outside so if there is a dirty air section you can close it and don't breathe and that you have also ionization for the AC and you can defrost the front window the rear window and the climate menu you can choose where you want the AC to work and here you have for the music these buttons and you can go back so I don't have anything connected so this is unavailable now and you can also do that from the passenger also the passenger so this is dual zone AC unit so the passenger can also turn it or you can have it on the sink so both sides will have the same temperature and also we have new pedal shifters they are now large for the wheel and also at the left side you can control the lights so you can have it on parking auto daylight and these are the rear fog lights and parking lights on each side and you can release the parking brake here so if you click here the home button you can have different modes so you can have understated all right so here with understated mode you can have different colors so if you press ok then you can choose from the colors which you want to have you can have like green teal colors so many colors to choose from so for example this teal and you can see here you have uh, kilometers and time and depending on what you have turned on the assistance systems also the fuel gauge so only minimal information what you need for the driving or this like orange one and you can operate here the display no issue with this so before if you had understated mode like on the a class then if you press here it will go off so now you can have it like this so you can customize it more then if you press the home button you can go and have the sport mode so this one is different looking new sport mode you have the newton meters here and kilowatts there which you use and also engine data so then you have the classic mode so in classic 
we have the kilometers, the odometer, then the trip from the start, trip from the reset, eco display, consumption at the moment, attention assist, and this one would be for the music, and this is for the navigation. So these on the side, these gauges, they stay the same uh, in this mode. Then we have navigation, which gives you the navigation and route guidance. Assistance, this will show you when you want overtake on the Distronic Plus and the distance between vehicles and which vehicle are driving around you. And in the service, we have the next service. You have a tire pressure and tire temperature. And of course, you have the engine oil level here. So the start button for the engine is here, located between the displays. Also here is located the auto start stop button. And in the middle we have this new vertical touchscreen display. So as you can see you have here the home button and you have apps for Mercedes Me and the browser, but I think the browser needs the hotspot, the connection for that. You can also, if you hold, you can move these icons as you wish. So you can have it in a way, in order, which you prefer more. So then we have settings. So to avoid contact, we have the ESP, Active Brake Assist. You can change it to Early, Medium, Late. Then we have Active Line Keeping Assist, Early, Medium, Late. Also Advanced. Lane Keeping Assist, Early, Medium, Late as well. Blind Spot Assist, this one you can also, this one you can turn on or off. Assistance, we have the Speed Limit Assist. You can have Warning Threshold, Speed Limit Warning. Traffic Light View, you can turn on Automatic or on Request. If you are first, it will show you the and the traffic light on the camera, from the camera, which is here. It will show you on the display, so sometimes you don't see that, so it's useful to have it here. And attention assist, this will just check uh, based on your driving style if you need a brake. It can be sensitive or standard. Camera is uh, can have GPS-based activation, so you can have uh, where the camera should be turned on. Then we have, you can just open the camera or and activation in reverse. And for the parking, we have here Active Parking Assist, Set Warning Tones, and Audio Fade Out, Demo Warning, Maneuvering Assist. For the vehicle, we have Dynamic Select. You can have the car will ask you if you want the same setting which you had before. In individual, you can set up the drive steering, ESP and the sound. Winter dial limit, you can limit that for the winter. Easy entry and exit, so you can position the user also for the ideal seating position. Locking function, you can have acoustic lock, the car will beep. Automatic locking when you start to drive and automatic mirror folding. You can have a roof roll sun blind, which you could open here from the display for the panoramic roof. You can also close it. Another function opening height limiter, so you can limit how high should be the boot to open. So if you have a, if you don't have a lot of space, you can limit that and automatic filling station search. You can also search the filling stations and then you have also standby mode. For the lights, we have the digital light with dynamic deep beam. So it will dim other where the other cars are and only have a high beam, full beam where the cars are not. Spotlight 
is that it will show like people on the road with the lights and uh, right side traffic here for the Europe and left side for the UK inter extra lighting you can have a locator lighting so this one is for surround lighting inter lighting you can delay the switch off and external lighting said how many seconds should be lights on when you lock the car ambient lighting can add uh, edit the settings system uh, basically you can have voice assistance uh, high mercedes you can turn it off if you don't use it a voice barge in online recognition display and brightness you can set the central display to have a higher brightness also the driver display now during the sunny days this is better during night you can lower it uh, control elements you can have acoustic feedback touch control keyboards and handwriting you can change the language for the audio you can have greeting tone parktronic navigation traffic announcement phone voice output voice output entertainment internet bluetooth hotspot wi-fi nfc bluetooth so so many settings data data protection then you have a time and date software updates so automatic online online updates and you can reset uh, everything and then in the info you have an owner's manual and system information navigation you have large uh, navigation you can see all new setup for the navigation you can type uh, everything also by hand if you do handwriting See, so also handwriting it works. Then a phone, this is for the calling radio. So for the radio you can choose from the stations. And then you have media, this is if a connected device, you can play a sound from that info. You can see here the vehicle accelerator brake, the incline, and with the engine you can see uh, engine newton meters, so torque, power with kilowatts, and the boost pressure. You can see the temperature of the transmission and engine, uh, engine oil, and also you can see the consumption here. So this one is average for seven and a half minutes. You can have for 30 minutes which is here and for the 90 minutes and three hours and this one is for the charge so you can see here fuel and charge and comfort we have the seat kinetics so this is similar to seat massage but it moves the seat a little bit forward the backwards and then you will have a little bit different seating you can position the seat automatically if you input your height and start positioning ambient lighting this one i showed you in the garage so basically you can have a different colors also during nighttime dry video so 64 individual colors or multi colors from the S class plus we have the racing yellow and racing orange so ocean blue mammy rose so all this uh, I will show you that in night so I will show you that during night we have brightness we can have zone brightness and effects for the ambient lighting as well so that's basically it you can have also here the you can activate Mercedes me can have here the menus for different people and favorites here as well you can see the car is connected to the 4g 
uh, LTE network park turning. So if you press it, you can see the view from the cameras. You can see the front view, the rear view, the side, the automatic mode, and the new feature here is where you can see like a location pin and the camera. So if you place uh, your finger and press it, you can see activation position saved. So this means that if you arrive to this exact place, the cameras and park turning system will turn on automatically without you pressing this button. So for example, you can do that if you arrive to your office, home, etc., where you use this system uh, often. So I would highly recommend to activate it this way. You don't need to press and it's easier and one step easier for your daily driving. So this is the new feature. Memory full, you can delete some positions as well. So right now this is full, but if you press it, it will uh, be stored there. So here if you press the home button, you can see the arrangement of the apps. You can see your app settings, navigation, etc. But maybe you don't like this order, you know, maybe you need here something else. So what do you do? You, you cannot like move it, see? What you need to do is hold as on your mobile phone. Now you can see arrows here, so you can move it. See? For example, if you want navigation to be here, you can move it like this can move it like this as well by swiping or with this and here you can see also the glove compartment has these two sections so you can see you can store the vest there and other stuff below and we have AMG line floor mats here so here in the middle tunnel if you open it you can see you have here the cable for the charging of your device here I have the USB-C cable and you can see you can extend this for the cups or you can close it and here you can put your uh, your key fob if it's discharged while it's charging for your phone as well and here we have the new key fob for the C-Class the same as on the S-Class but it has like different design but very similar to the S-Class so you have here just matte texture so the middle armrest, if you press, it will open. We have two USB-C ports and also some storage space here. So very, very spacious. All right, then now let's check the rear seats. So the rear seats are also new. Similar shaping as for the front. So in terms of the room, we have more room here in the rear. So for the new room, we have 35 millimeters more. That's like 1.5 inch. And for the headroom, we have 13 millimeters. That's like a half an inch more. So definitely a lot more space than in the previous generation. Also, I can put my feet under the front seat. Even the front seat is as low as possible. I can still place my feet there so really great and spacious also for the rear passengers so for the reference I'm 186 centimeters or six feet and one inch and you can see here I have a lot more space than in the previous C-class so you can see also the seat is curved in a way that you have more space here and also you can put some stuff here and here in the middle you can see some small storage space and you can control these vents. There is also an optional AC where you would have here the panel where you can control the temperature. Also same clicky sound. And the seats you can also move in all kinds of direction these are the new style seats also if you press here you can move this forward see so you can move it as you wish like this so 
find the perfect spot for the driving. Burmester surround speaker also here and you can see the door sound very solid ambient lighting also here premium materials and the build quality is really good floating panel as well with windows single glass here can be double glazed a lot of space actually for the C-Class really really great so this is a combination of man-made leather the article leather and dynamica which is like an alcantara material you can see the seat belts here isofix for a child seat and very nice materials also this is i feel like is improved definitely the article and here we can see the middle armrest which now has new feature so this is for your device phone or maybe smaller tablet if you press again then you have here the hidden cup holders so one small press gives you this opening one more and it opens it's all mechanical very good it's wide enough for two arms also so really great we have this beige ceiling you can have it in black so this is uh, fabric and you can see also the cover for the panoramic window is very nice and the shade is like really great with this so this is how the front looks from the rear you can see how the display is turned towards the driver uh, really great for the for the driver also the passenger can see it so no issue with this but definitely more oriented for the driver can see here so really really amazing so in terms of the headroom because of the panoramic sunroof we have a little bit less of a headroom so if you need more then don't order this roof you will have more headroom uh, but I'm 186 centimeters 6 feet and 1 inch as you can see and I have still some space here maybe 3 cent three four centimeters so i would say one one and a half inches still so i'm really uh, fine here no issue with headspace so even taller people than me can fit here uh, no issue with this so really amazing um, in terms of the rear comfort for the passengers you can see here legroom it's improved also for the rear so much better than the previous c-class so now let's check the boot capacity so the boot opens electrically and we have 455 liters in the sedan in the estate 490 liters you can see here my backpack and tripod and you have uh, more space so if i put this towards the back you can see how much space do i have here you can put some trolley bags or duffel bags here so quite spacious i would say but if you need more space then the estate will be a better options but also this one is pretty spacious you can also close it electrically here 